I just finished a workout circuit that I've been working on for a while. Hey everyone, it's Paulina. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm showing you guys different exercises you can do with or without equipment. I do realize that not everyone always has time or commitment to get that gym membership or energy and space in their homes to set up these like huge pieces of equipment and I totally get that. So in today's video, I'm showing you guys different exercises you can do with increased or decreased reps based on your own skill level and performance abilities. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and with Without further ado, let's get on to it. The first thing I do is always tie my hair up because I never feel like a workout is complete if my hair is falling out all over the place. As a warm up, I'm doing a quick 25 jumping jacks and then stretching it out. This is super important because that way your muscles can get the blood flow and get ready for the workout that's ahead. If you want to see a more in-depth stretch, I'll link my video down below. The first thing I'm going to be working with is my arms, so here I'm just warming up by doing some small circles backwards and then you want to do the same thing forwards and you want to do each for about a minute or two. Starting off with triceps, you're going to want to find a bench or you can do this on any surface really. You're going to put your palms face down and parallel to your body. The key here is to get a 90 degree angle, that way your elbows and arms are doing the work and you're not just going up and down with your stomach or body. The straighter your legs are, the harder you'll feel the burn. Now the most basic form of equipment is a chair. I feel like everyone has one in their home and this can be used for this workout and many others that I'll be talking about in this video. The same rules apply in terms of bending your arms and then same thing with the legs, the straighter they are, the harder your triceps will be working. To work out more of your biceps and upper arm muscles, you can do these shoulder taps and you want to do a lot of reps and repeat the sets over and over. For the arm muscles, you also want to go up and down so you can tap your shoulders and then lift your arms above your head. For triceps, you're going to want to do these imaginary skull crushers and you can do about 30 or 40 reps in each set. Depending on how heavy you want the, I guess, imaginary weights to be, you can repeat these 3 to 10 times each. To do shoulders, I'm just doing two minutes of upwards and then downwards lifts. I forgot to mention earlier in this video, but water is super important whenever you exercise. Your muscles and body need it to regenerate and just kind of keep going. So definitely drink up. So whether you're doing it at home without equipment or in the gym, water is key. Another way to work your biceps and total body is to do these shoulder taps. The key here is to be in a plank position and not move your body or at least as little as possible. Push-ups are also a great way to work arms and abs at once, so you can do them on your knees, regular ones like I'm doing here, or if you want to spice things up a bit, you can stack one foot on top of the other and do them like so. For butt workouts, you can do fire hydrants and leg lifts. These are just lifting your legs to the side and then to the ceiling when you're facing back. I usually rotate these with curtsy lunge squats, so basically you want to have one foot behind the other, keep your hips square, and then just squat like you normally would. Of course, just like with any other exercise that I'm showing in this video, you can add weights or tension bands just to kind of up the scale of your workout. If you do not have weights at home and do want to improve your weight training, you can always just do more reps or more sets depending on your schedule. For abs, there are multiple things that you can do without equipment, so you can just do these cherry pickers, I like to call them. You can do them with your legs down or usually people do them with their legs slightly lifted and then just tapping the floor side to side. For a bit of a challenge, you can also sit in this V position and do it that way or hold. I learned a really effective combination from my dance team, the first step being to do 10 regulars and then 10 with your legs lifted up and 10 with your legs totally straight to the ceiling and then finally 10 crisscrossed. We would usually repeat this circuit about 3 times but you can always increase or decrease the repetitions as you choose. If you guys do want to see some cool combinations that I put together, you can view those in the description box down below. The stretch afterward is almost more important than the stretch we did beforehand, so here I'm just stretching out the muscles that I used. 
Finally, to work our legs, we're just gonna do some leg raises on each side, and then you wanna do inner thigh lifts. You can do this while laying down, and it's pretty easy. You just kind of lift your leg until you feel the burn. For calf muscles, I'm doing these lifts. You can do inward and outward ones just to work more of your muscle range. And then same thing with quads. You can do this against a door frame or just out in the open. This is also a great opportunity to use that chair or equipment that we talked about earlier because you can do this to not only help your balance but also kind of see the range of your sit-ups or measure out where you want to go to with certain squat walks and things like that. The last thing I want to mention in this video is that there's nothing better than getting some fresh air so whether you don't have equipment or just want to switch up your weight training routine you can always go on a little run or walk at your local park or neighborhood. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any further suggestions or want to follow me, you can follow me at my Instagram, which will be up here and linked in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.